the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 220 pounds. Guys, we have a big time Johnny tag team Munoz. match coming up here. A big time match with big time stakes, Michael. Neither one of these superstars can afford a loss right now. And his partner from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 250 pounds, unbreakable Michael Elgin. Stay with us. We've got a huge tag team match coming up. And both these teams come into tonight looking to make a statement, which means we might see these two teams do things we've never seen them do in the past. And their opponents, first, from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 167 pounds, the Impact Wrestling Extreme Champion. As we get ready Richie for this tag team match, Sutton. Byron, tell me, who do you like in this one? Come on, Michael, you know I can't answer that. Look at these teams. They both have what it takes to be the most dominant team WWE has seen in quite some time. There's almost no way to confidently pick one over the other. And his partner from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 280 pounds, Willie Mack. This is the one this crowd has been waiting for, guys. Tag team action coming up. I can't wait, Michael. Like this crowd, I've had my eyes on this match ever since it was announced. Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready yeah. to go. Guys, the tag team scene in WWE right now is so impressive. And these two tandems are a lot of the reason why. Oh, look, look, elbow, elbows off a chest. You gotta believe this one's over. Just breaking down the opponent. Brought in the hard way. The 
fist has been dropped. On the back of the neck. Uh-oh. Setting him up. Uh-oh. Oof. Head scissors applied. Oh, oh, look at this. And the head scissors applied. Oh, oh, man, that's just nasty. What a stomp. Good grief. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Heart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have until the referee's five count to execute the move. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers, Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bockwinkle, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of a tag team, the two partners have to travel together train together, eat together, and be completely in sync with one another. Tag team competition dates back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene, and he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Flying forearm. He's not looking like himself here. His tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. The beauty of tag team competition is that he doesn't need to take the entire brunt of the opposition's attack. Though the thought of making a tag Man. doesn't necessarily appear to be on his mind right now. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. Some now. It's tagged. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. And the Luthes press. Piston like rights. He might have it. Harsh impact. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Ooh, that's how you dominate your opponent. In off the tag. Oh, and Enziguri. Up and around. DDT. DDT. What a stomp. Good grief. That'll break you in half. He's going for it all. He's not going to like this. He can't withstand one bit more. Whoa! Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner, and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee 
could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her taste. He's looking at it. This might be it. Oh, my. That has got to be it. Ooh, what impact. Strong kick. My goodness. Lands this, and he is done. DDT planet. Oh, rock kick. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. Reversed. Oh boy, he is rolling. Woo -wee. Oh, he dodges out of the way. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Slam. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Face. Oh God. He knows he's in trouble. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability. Oh, check that. Horse screw neck breaker. So good. That should do it. Let's take another look at that. Michael, that was amazing. He's got the shoulders down. And he breaks up the pinfall. Let's keep fighting. Whoa, it's another reversal. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like that. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Out on the apron. Oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be really bad. Nasty. The hardest part of the ring. Ooh. Oh, an apron slap. Disrespectful. Wow, talk about knowing where you're at at all times. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh, nasty impact. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. When this guy's on, look out. Oh, he turns it around. You're in the ring with somebody who has a major injury, much like this superstar. You almost have no choice but to focus 100% of your energy on further aggravating the injury. Hold on, guys. This isn't good. No question about it, Cole. Devastating kick. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Look out! Penny predicament. This one is over. Here's a few clips from the last match for us. These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell. That's the kind of match that makes me proud to be here at ringside. Action from the opening bell and a finish people won't soon forget.
Here are your winners, Johnny Munoz and Unbreakable Michael Elgin. Without even breaking a sweat, this one is over. It's performances like the one we just saw from these guys that makes tag team wrestling so exciting. With that win in the books, we must now move on.